Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, where are we? Uh, Klein. Klein's Antiques. This is not your normal antique store. This is a sprawling compound, almost a cross between an antique shop and a junkyard. Some really fascinating finds. Hopefully we can find some really cool things in there. This was actually featured in the Avett Brothers video, one of my favorite bands. The video, February 7th. So you ready to check this place out, Anna? Yeah, let's try to put socks on. Put putting your socks on? Yeah, I found some socks, and I'm wearing flats. You found socks just like laying on the ground? No, I found socks in my pocket. Socks in her pocket. This is going, I don't know, follow us. <laughs> Super spooky skeleton. They have the, all these baskets of ironwork. I love these little iron crayfish. Look at that, just a bucket of mermaids. Look at the bottle opener. Look at that, we got a bucket of old mammy figures. Hmm. Mr. Peanut, I presume. Some sort of elf, no. Looks like a metal squirrel. See, how does this work right here? Oh, there we go. Look at these door knockers. That looks like something out of a haunted mansion. And you got this freaky unicorn demon face. What is that? There's a strange wheel up here. I have no idea what any of these things mean. It says eight weeds came in, kills red root. What is going on here? Look at that old barber or dentist chair. Very cool. Look at these old magazines. These license plates are just a little bit rusty. Some old sun drop bottles. Is that a Carolina thing, sun drop? Some RC bottles. I don't see any cheer wine. Oh, what's this? Look at that. That's a sealed Coke, but it's, or sealed Pepsi, but it's only down to there. Bet it's all the concentrated goodness. Bet that would be extra delicious because all the good sugar and everything is condensed down to the bottom. All right, I think I figured out what I want for the day. Whatever that is, make it mine. Yeah, this carousel horse. Some children's rides. Look at all these little tiny cars, Anna. You could drive your own car. You like the police car? Restaurant sign, it's got a Bible verse written on it. There's actually no letters, but that's just from the dust covering and the letters are on there. Check out this old medical chair. I this is my favorite room. And this is insane here. I don't know if it's like a gumball, I guess I think it's a gumball machine where this would be full of gumballs and there's like a maze and a Rube Goldberg-esque contraption where the gumball falls down. Oh, this is fresh lobster. I guess this is a old lobster tank. That's pretty cool. 
Maybe I'll get this and start breeding lobsters. Semi life size doll right here. And oh my gosh, it's got something coming out of its back. This is actually a lamp. It's a giant antebellum doll lamp. Amazing. I don't know what this is. It's a cabinet. It's like an old claw machine. Eagle claw. For anyone wondering what an accordion looks like on the inside. You're weight free, no springs. It's, apparently it's not working or I'm 215 pounds. Either way. And this is some sort of game back in here. I can see the numbers. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Looks like maybe some sort of shuffleboard or skee ball machine. And I guess this would be some sort of jukebox. It's a little bit dusty here. The fountain drink machine. Then we got this old timey cigarette machine. You think it's all cigarettes in it? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like these are like vintage packs of cigarettes. These are old school cigarette brands. Hey, you're not old enough for that. Wait, does it open? Whoa! Is there still some? No, they're all. There's no packs of cigarettes still in there. Oh my gosh, Dad. If you open it, you can see someone has tried to peel. Someone has desperately tried to peel back the metal here to get to the precious L&M cigarettes right there. It's a real old timey soda fountain. It's another old jukebox. I don't. I like to have Word Up by Cameo. Just look at all this glorious junk here. Big old Sprint sign. Last time I was here, I actually stepped in a big pile of uh, industrial Vaseline that just like went up through my toes and completely covered my foot. I was wearing flip flops at the time. It was it was truly horrible. Walden Books, back when bookstores existed. Look at this hardcore. Super gumball and prize machine. Maybe I'll get myself a nice trophy while I'm here. I deserve it. Oh, I love this salon chair. I need this for my house. As you get near the back of the property, things kind of break down and almost transforms into just piles of junk. But it's actually the coolest part.
oak machine. I've never seen one like that. Either that or just missing pieces. Oh, look at that pachinko machine. And look at this. You could buy this uh, pizza hut thing and put it on top of your car and sneak around and pretend you're a pizza man. Never mind, don't do that. Look at that hair drying machine that looks like it's from the Jetsons. Look at that. It's like a space age hair dryer. Oh my, look at all those gumball machines. We gotta get over there. There's a maze, school chairs, and rusty bicycles. Yeah, look at all these. It's like the where get, prize yeah, where you get toys from the supermarket. Here. There's some prizes still left in this one. There's a ring. That one's got some prizes left in it. Oh my gosh, this one says one cent. One cent? Yes. That must be old. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? There's this massive pile of discarded junk out here in the field. It's kind of sad. You wonder are all these valuable possessions, why they ended up here, why their owner didn't want them anymore. I mean, look at this. Someone just left their most valuable geek trophy from Coca-Cola, Alfred Baton. Alfred, if you're out here, you need to come to Klein's and rescue your most valuable geek trophy. Because you are a valuable geek. And look at this. Look at all these trophies. Don't people have any care about their trophies that they, they win? Barry Goodwin on customer service, excellent award 2014, and he doesn't even care? Krista Westbury of the Greenville District. You don't want your telephone salesperson of the year award? These people. Look at this, Victor O'Corn, he was in the FBI and he just didn't care. He didn't care about this award. Reverend Anderson got this nice framed letter from Vich Richard Vinroot, and now it's just in a junkyard. Look at this. I finally got my PhD. This place has everything, including 8,000 kitchen sinks. Anna, quit messing with those golf clubs. How do you golf? How do you golf? You hit the ball with the club. Look at all these old bottles. Oh, there we go. Some vintage antique cheer wine. Wonder what year this is, see if it was a good year. What is that? It is some sort of nuclear WMD. Strapped I I don't even begin to grasp what I'm looking at here. Now this here, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the old P.O. box area from a post office. You gotta be pretty careful here and kind of watch your step, watch where you're going. You never know when you might accidentally step on a pile of sickles. I have no idea what this is. This is like a box that has like this massive light in it, almost like a lighthouse light or something. Does anyone know what that is? There's so many old soda machines here. Really neat. 
massive collection of old signs. Oh, and why not? Here's a collection of creepy hands. This reminds me of uh, when Edward Scissorhands tried to get his real hands, but then Vincent Price died. Now this place is insane, quite frankly. I've been walking around for hours and I feel like I've only seen maybe a small fraction of what they have here. It makes me wish I had a very large truck and a very large pile of money. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching.